Hello everyone, you are highly welcome. I, I have this simultaneous equation here that involves x and y. Now look at this equation 1 and equation 2 here. If you have or if you ask a y student to get the value of x, we will not even write anything down by men looking at the equation. So you know that the x equals 1 and y is equals to 1. Alright. But how are we going to solve it? Okay. If you want to know how you got that or you want to solve that algebraically. So how are you going to solve? For x equals 1 and y equals 1. Now let's see how we're going to do that. We have 3 to the power of s plus 3 to the power of y equals 6. That equation 1. And we have the equation 2 here. So now what I'm going to do from 1. Let multiply 3 to the power of x, 3 to the power of x, multiplying 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of y, okay, then equals 3 to the power of x multiplying 6. So that's what we're going to do. Now, let's see what this will give us. You multiply this by this, you know that this is going to be 3. x and x will be x plus x. Don't forget, because... That is from the law of indices. Whenever you are multiplying index number of the same basis, their powers are said to be added. And that's what I did here. That's why I have this. Then plus 3 to the power of x plus y. The same thing I did here because we are going to add the powers. Then equals 6 multiplied by 3, what 3 to the power of x. So now from here, the next thing we're going to do. So, we can see that we have this to be 3 to the power of 2x, then plus. Now, we have 3 to the power of x plus 1. Now, looking at this x plus 1, now look at this equation 2. The equation 2 here is x plus 1, which is the same thing as 2. So, you're going to replace this by 2. Then, we have 6 dot 3 to the power of x. That is multiplication. Alright, so from there, the next thing we're going to do. So, we can write this equation as having 3 to the power of x. Take x inside and put the 2 outside. Plus 9 to the power of 2 will give us... Uh, 3 to the power of 2 will give us 9. Then equals 6 uh, multiplied by 3 to the power of x. Now, we're going to do replacement here. Okay? Doing the replacement here, we're going to have... Let 3 to the power of x be equal to what? And be a. So now here, this is going to be a squared plus 9. We will transpose this to this side. We're going to have minus 6a. All right? Equals 0. But we can rewrite this equation by what? By putting minus 6a in the middle. So to write it in a standard form. So we're going to have minus 6a because we've said this 3 to the power of x to be a. Then plus 9. So now from here, let's try to factorize this. So we're going to see we have this in this form, then equals 0. So we have a here, we have a here. So what will be here, what will be here? So now you can see if you multiply minus 3 by minus 3, it's going to give us plus 9. Minus 3 plus minus 3 is going to give us minus 3. So therefore, we have what? We have this to be a minus 3 equals what? Equals 0. I get now A minus 3 equals 0. So, and as you can see, which means uh, we're going to have 3 twice, right? 3 twice. So, we have A to be equals this, right? Twice. Okay? But some students will now stop here. So, please don't stop here. The A we just introduce what a here okay it's not the main variable we are looking for the main variable we are looking for is what is x and y so now from there the next thing we're going to do is that where we have a you re need to recall recall that from here 3 to the power of x 3 to the power of x equals a and we've already gotten a to be 3 we have 3 to the power of x equals 3 and 3 can also be written uh, in, in the form as this, we have 3 to x to be equals 1. That implies that x equals 1. So we have x to be 1. Then, put x equals 1 into any of the equation here. So let me pick 
equation 2 from where from 2 where we have x plus y equals 2 so where we have 1 or where we have x put 1 we have 1 plus y equals 2 we are going to have y to be 2 minus 1 then we have y also to be 1 can you see that so that's the solution x equals 1 and y equals 1 as i stated from the beginning right so if you enjoy this class please do not hesitate to share to your friends so they can also benefit from this subscribe to our youtube channel hit on the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime we upload the new content thank you also for your support then follow our facebook page to enjoy more of our classes all right thank you bye bye